All right, so let's begin with the eye. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, so all of this, that's the sclera, all of that. This clear structure right here, that's your cornea. And this, this is the lacrimal gland. It is important for you to remember that the lacrimal gland produces tears and it's a structure that is found at the lateral aspect of the eye. If this is lateral over here, that's medial. All right, so let's remove this. So as soon as we remove this, you're going to be able to appreciate all of this. This right here, this is the ciliary body, all of that. That's your ciliary body. This red right here, this is the ciliary muscle. All right, ciliary body and ciliary muscle. Let's take a look at the yellow structure. All of this, that's your retina. That's where you have your photoreceptors. So all of this, that's the retina. But take a look at number 18 right here. 18 is the macula lutea. You should have a little point right in the middle. If you have a little point in the middle, that's called the phobia centrialis. All right? So retina, macula lutea, and if there's a little dot in the center, phobia centrialis. So let's take a look at this little guy right here. And I'm gonna even zoom in closer. Oops. All right, so all of that, that's the retina. And right here, this is called the optic disc. The optic disc is your blind spot, all right? So optic disc. Leaving, this becomes the optic nerve. So if your professor has a sticker here, this is called the optic nerve. If she has a sticker here, the optic disc. All right, so let's take a look right here. Where the ciliary body meets the retina right here, they're going to create this rigid line. This is called the aura serrata. All of that. That's your aura serrata. All right, so the eye has two cavities the anterior cavity and the posterior cavity. Remember, what divides the cavity is the lens. So the lens, this structure right here, the lens divides the cavities. The anterior cavity and the posterior cavity, all right? Let's talk about the anterior cavity. The anterior cavity has two chambers. This right here, where I'm putting the probe, this is the anterior chamber of the anterior cavity. From the cornea to the iris, this is the anterior chamber of the anterior cavity. From the iris to the lens, that's the posterior chamber of the anterior cavity. The aqueous humor is found in the anterior cavity overall. And when I mean anterior cavity, I mean both the anterior chamber and posterior chamber of the anterior cavity. In the posterior cavity, all of this, you have vitreous humor and it's much dense. All right, so here's a question. Try to answer. What type of fluid is found in the posterior chamber? If you said vitreous, you're wrong. Check your answer. Note how I said what type of fluid is found in the posterior chamber, right here. That's aqueous humor. You need to remember that the anterior chamber and the posterior chamber contain aqueous humor. The posterior cavity contains the vitreous humor. Good? And I think that's all.